All right, today we're gonna be preparing a canvas to uh, do a burn on Maleficent. It's gonna be a cool burn. The image is pretty nice. So first thing we're gonna do to start off, we're gonna put a coat of white gloss Rust-Oleum. Just even coats, even even layers, overlapping coats. We're gonna come back and gonna hit it one more time after this one. Then we're gonna to top it off. All right, we're gonna to top it off with one more coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black, and then we're gonna make the burn. See y'all in a little bit. All right, our first coat has dried. We're gonna hit it with another coat of that white gloss Rust-Oleum. Just overlapping coats real quick. There we go. All right, we're gonna let it dry, then we're gonna put our last final coat on, which is the gloss black, and then we're gonna do this excellent burn. All right, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and put our black coat over it. It's gonna be a, a high gloss black Rust-Oleum. Overlapping paint. Just real quick. This little gun handle make it a lot easier. There we go. That's it. All right, man. We're going to let this dry. Then we're going to start our burn of Maleficent. Stay tuned. All right, we got our image loaded into GIMP. We're going to be burning Maleficent. So what we need to do is we need to brighten it up a little bit still because it looks okay. So we go to colors, brighten contrast, hit split. Uh, Maybe like 25, let's see. Okay, probably a little bit more. Let's go to 35. I like that. Contrast, we'll do about three. That looks good, we're gonna run that. Run the big gimp and plug in. All right, this image right here is gonna be a vertical image. So the width, we're gonna do it on 11 by 14. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do 280. Height, height is gonna be 360. Tile is selected. When you're doing canvas, we select tile. Um, that's it. Let it run, do its thing. Cool, there we go. Change the view. Okay, so that's how it's gonna look. That's gonna be nice. So we're gonna go ahead and file. We're gonna export it, go to export as. And we're gonna say MM. That's all we're gonna do. Um, gonna go where we're gonna put it at. We go to desktop, you know, photos. Export. Make sure your quality is at 100%. Then hit export. And there we go. We're gonna load it into uh, light burn. Wait until our canvas finishes drying, and we're gonna make this burn. Okay, we got our image loaded into light burn. Only thing we're gonna really do is change the width. We're gonna change the width to 274. We're gonna change the height. to 350 that's so it can fit on the canvas again this is 11 by 14 canvas that's all we're gonna do there move it a little bit get it right there and we're good we'll line it up once we get it get the canvas dry so we'll go ahead and go to our cuts and layers tab and we're gonna be running speed 3000 max power 65 um, DPI 254 scan angle is zero and if it stops in the middle of the 
any burn that you're doing, always remember to flip it to 180, change your stand angle to 180, and it'll start from the top and work its way down. So once you get to that point, then you'll cut it off and you'll maybe salvage whatever you're doing. Pass through is off, I'm gonna do one pass on it, that's it. Ready to go, it's gonna be amazing burn, stick around. It's gonna be fire. All right, our canvas is dry. We got everything set up. Only thing we got to do now is hit shift and frame. To make sure our canvas is lined up correctly and we're inside our borders. If you're outside of your border, that means you're going to have to do a little more adjusting to get it right. But we're good. It's going to be uh, an amazing burn. It's Maleficent. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing. Stay tuned.